Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about factoring polynomials. So what we have here is that we have four different polynomials to factor out. One, two, three, and four. And we will try to factor this out using its greatest common factor. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So in number one, we have 3x plus 3y. So basically guys, when you say factoring, or factoring a polynomial, it is the reverse part or reverse process of multiplying polynomials because we will try to extract its common factor so that we can express or we can expand the given polynomial. So what we have here is 3x plus 3y. So basically guys, ang ginagawa ko dito when I am trying to factor out polynomials, iniisip ko muna what is common between the two terms. Kailangan kasi meron siya ng common. Here, ang kailangan nyo itignan dito is ano ba yung common between the coefficients? We have here the numbers. Here are the numbers. Huh? These are the numbers. Numbers. And after that, what is common within the variables of each term? We have here the variable x and the variable y. And in this given example, number 1, wala tayong common sa variable but meron tayong common or meron tayong greatest common factor sa ating coefficient which is equal to 3. So what we need to do now is to put here the variable 3 and we will try to think how to divide this polynomial for us to get the other factor. Tandaan nyo guys ha, yung 3 natin is the greatest common factor. Again, the 3 is the greatest common factor while we, we need to find the other factor here. So paano natin nahanap yung other factor? Para mahanap natin other factor, we need to divide the two terms here. So we will divide this by 3 and divide this by the 3. Again, this 3 is your greatest common factor. So 3x divided by 3 is simply x. Then 3y divided by 3 is simply plus y. Meaning guys, the greatest or the factor of 3x plus 3y is simply 3 times x plus y. That's it for item number y. Now let's move on with item number 2. In number 2, we have 5x plus 20y. Now, if you will observe the given numbers, for the coefficient 5 and 20, definitely their greatest common factor is 5. As for the variable in each term, titignan niyo mabuti kung meron ba common sa bawat term, since ito ay x sa kawai, walang common sa kanila. Meaning, ito na yung ating GCF. So, we will try to use a parenthesis and divide each term by your GCF, 5. So, what we have here is 5x divided by 5, which is simply equal to x. Then, 20 divided by 5 is plus 4. And then, we have the variable y. Meaning, guys, this is now the factored form of item number 2. So I hope guys na sa first and second example pa lang natin nakuha nyo na yung way or ways on how to factor out a given polynomial. So let's move on with item number 3. In number 3, don't be confused guys because there's a lot of exponents here. We have x cubed y to the 4th power plus x y. Now, ang technique dito since wala naman silang coefficient or numbers Ang kailangan mo lang dito intindihin is yung variables. For the variables, tinan mo, di ba parang sila may common na x and y, x and y. Kapag parang sila may common na x and y, ang ginagawa ko dyan, hinahanap ko yung variables with the lowest exponent or least exponent para yun yung magsisabi kong greatest common factor. Here, sa first time natin, the exponent is 3 for x, the exponent of y is 4. In the second term, the exponent of x is 1, and exponent of y is 1. So ito ngayon yung magsisabi kong greatest common factor. The label dito is x and y. Yan yung ating greatest common factor. So we will try to use a parenthesis and divide each term by x, y. Divide this by x and y. Now, dito pag dinivide ito, ang mangyari dito, we have x cubed over x, which is equal to x squared. 
Ang nangyayari dyan, guys, is ito. We can apply the loss of exponents wherein we're subtracting its exponents. We have 3 for the numerator at meron tayo invisible y. Minus 1. 3 minus y is x squared. And that's it, guys. Kaya siya naging x squared. As for the variable y naman, we have y to the 4th power over y, 4 minus 1, that is 3, so we have y cubed. Plus, here, we have x square, xy over xy, since equal yung numerator and denominator natin, meaning that is simply equal to y. Therefore, the factors of number 3 is simply xy times x squared y cubed plus y. That's it, guys. Let's have item number 4. For number 4, we have 3 terms. Now, what will happen? We have a coefficients. We also have the variables. Same thing, kailangan natin pagsamasamahin yung knowledge natin for num from number 1, 2, and 3. For the numbers or the coefficients, we have 2, negative 8, 24. And obviously, the GCF is equal to 2. Lagyan natin dito 2. Okay? Kasi sir, what about the variables? Observe muna yung variable x. For the first term, you have x cubed. x and x in which ang least exponent ng variable x is simply y. Meaning, so for the variable x, ang ating GCF ay simply x. Okay? So what about the variable y? For the variable y, observe natin. Okay? We have here y, y square, and y. Meaning, yung ating GCF for the variable y is simply y. So what will happen is that we will divide each term by the GCF 2xy and also this term by 2xy and also this term by 2xy. So going at then. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay na yan. X cubed over X is X squared. Then Y over Y is Y. Meaning, pag dinibay natin itong term na to, the answer is simply X squared. Next, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Yung X natin makakansal na yan guys, automatically. Then yung ating Y squared over Y is simply Y. So ito yung sa ating second term. For the third term, 24 divided by 12 is simply positive 12 or 12. Yung x sa kawain natin is makawala na. Ibig sabihin guys, these are the factors. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to factor polynomial using its greatest common factor. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!